All right, guys, here we go. This is the moment you've been waiting for. I've had a bunch of requests for this, so I hope you guys like it. This is gonna be the Sony 695 against the RS2000 from JVC. These are pretty comparable in price, but I'm really excited to see how this RS2000 pairs next to the 695. You've seen in a lot of our installs us putting in the 695. I know it's a great projector. It just performed very well against the RS1000, but I'm not knocking the 1000 at all. For its MSRP, I'd have to say it's a, it's a really aggressive competitor for sure. Now, let's see what the 2000 has in it. I'm hoping that it beats out the uh, Sony 695, but we'll just have to see. Let's go ahead and get it booted up. RS2000 remote, let's do it. I'm gonna uh, do a couple different Blu-rays. If you look over here, I have Tom Cruise, Mission Impossible, Fallout, and I'll do the uh, Captain America, First Avenger as well. 695 RS2000. And what I do, guys, is I'm gonna get them aligned roughly, and then I'll just put the Blu-ray right over the front there to block the signal so that we can toggle back and forth between each of them to compare the image quality. I'll also adjust the calibration if needed. I like to kind of just see where it falls right out of the box as far as the, the preset calibrations that JVC and Sony put into it. And then I refer to my sales reps to see, you know, kind of what, what they think. You can see on that RS1000, the calibration made a world of difference from the basic settings that it comes with. It was, after calibrating it, it was competing pretty close to this uh, 695, but um, it just booted up. I'm gonna get it aligned and then I'll show you some uh, examples. This is the intro screen to the Tom Cruise Mission Impossible. We're getting into the nicer projectors now. Uh, we have the RS2000 and 695 Sony. You can see the, these, the contrast, even with the lights on, brightness, everything is at a different level than the RS1000 and 295. But let's go ahead and get into some scenes so you guys can see the image quality difference with the lights off. So just on the intro screen, the 695 right here, and then the RS2000. I mean, look at the the contrast on like these flames and the how vivid and bright the imagery is. Let's go back to the 695. Yep, this is going to be a tough one. Um, these are these are really good projectors at a reasonable price point too, ten grand and eight grand. So let's go ahead and start up a scene. This is a good example for us to pause it on because there's a lot of content on the screen that the projectors can output, so we can see like the sharpness and detail and contrast in the, the picture differences. So right now, it's outputting on the JVC RS2000. And now, it's outputting on the 695. This is the RS2000. And this is the 695. So I think just like the RS1000 and 295, the Sony projectors by default come off just in a, a warmer uh, hue, a warmer uh, color overall on all the scenes that I've viewed, um, especially on the, the brighter scenes where it's daylight there's a lot more warmth by default. Now, it depends on how you want your content 
to appear because you can calibrate the JVC with a couple minor tweaks to look exactly like that color spectrum. But by default, that's your difference. Now let's look at the settings on the JVC. So what I adjusted on the RS-1000, just so we're kind of looking apples to apples, um, was the under gamma. All right, guys, so after, you know, inspecting the image, it looks like they both have very comparable image sharpness. And depending on how you manipulate the calibration, you can get very similar uh, color balancing. It, it really just depends, too, on, on the particular scene that you're looking at. But with the auto tone mapping, you can definitely make those adjustments accordingly. So I'm gonna go ahead and just play a couple more scenes um, and you guys can make a judgment call for yourself. This is the Sony 695. And this is the RS2000 JVC. RS2000, Sony 695. Six nine five RS two thousand. I'm impressed with both of these projectors. They're they're outputting a very good quality image. Back to the Sony six nine five. And now to the JVC RS2000. All right, I hope you guys are enjoying this side by side so far. I'm gonna pop in another disc. We'll do Captain America. So we have a couple different options to, to reference, not just this one Mission Impossible movie. And uh, we'll see what we think on this one. All right, guys. So this is a side-by-side -side comparison of the Sony 695 and the JVC RS2000. These are pretty comparable in the marketplace. We got an $8,000 price tag and a $10,000 price tag on them. This is with the lights on. Go ahead and view that image with the lights off. Now this is the RS2000. And I'm just gonna toggle over to the Sony 695. This is the 695. And now I'm gonna do the 2000.
These are very comparable projectors, honestly. I wasn't really expecting the RS2000 to keep up with it because of the $2,000 price difference, but if I pause it, you can see the sharpness is right on point. Let me get to a better scene. Right now what's playing is the RS2000. Actually, I'm going to fast forward. Okay, so I have it paused on a scene from Captain America and I have the 695 going right now. I'm going to switch over to the RS2000. RS2000, now the 695. 695 to the 2000. What I'm noticing, guys, overall, like I said with the 1000 versus the uh, Sony 295, is out of the box, the Sony 295 appears to have like a warmer uh, hue or color to it overall, especially in the bright scenes. And that's something that is clear with the JVC 2000 versus the 695 as well. Like you can see as I go from the uh, 2000 over to the 695, it's just a little bit warmer. It's kind of interesting the way the manufacturers output the, the picture. But with calibration, I can get very comparable imaging out of the 2000. So really I'm just looking at the, the sharpness of the picture and you know motion flow and the overall contrast between the two projectors. And I'll have to say they perform pretty comparable. I'm gonna go ahead and hit play. You guys can see side by side. Okay, so right now we're looking at the 695 and I'm gonna go over to the 2000. Almost no change. This is the RS2000 and the 695. Back to the 2000 and then the 695. 2000, 695. This is the 695 playing, and I'm going to switch over to the 2000. Move forward to another scene. A little bit brighter scene for you guys. So this is the 2000 playing right now, and I'm going over to the 695. Nine five, and this is the RS two thousand. All right, guys, well, this wasn't an easy side-by-side -side like I thought it would be. The JVC RS2000 is really an amazing projector and gave this 695 here a run for its money. I'll have to say, with the $2,000 MSRP 
uh, price point difference, I would say this RS2000 is the way to go. Now, if you have a little extra uh, money in your pocket and don't mind spending it, go for the Sony. I had a very hard time differentiating between the two uh, based on the two movies that I watched. And uh, a lot of it's gonna come down to calibration, but they're very comparable in, in image quality, and uh, they have a lot of the custom installer features that we're looking for. If you guys are trying to do Cinescope, we can easily manipulate the settings on both the Sony and the RS2000 to accommodate that. And it has all the memory features to where we can program it into your remote system to toggle back and forth between the two. It's really hard to say that one's better than the other, but I hope you guys found this video informative and helpful in making a buying decision. Basically, overall, I'd have to give it to the JVC just because the JVC is a lower price point and it, it's performing just as well as the 695. But this 695 is, is an amazing projector and I've installed it in many situations. and Everybody's been very happy with the overall performance of the projector. And in this situation, it definitely impressed me as well. So I hope you guys liked the video. Make sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and give us a call to place some orders. This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater.